things are happening in the background over on my end stuff. I'll be happy to announce when uh, I get the okay there, but I'm very happy to be here to pick up where we left off with the last, uh, the last episode. Yeah. You know, uh, the last one, you guys saw it, our thoughts on it are kind of disappointed with it, especially <laughs> knowing like the people involved with it. It's like, ugh, just it, it's a concept. I like the concept. Mm. I don't like any of the execution. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, yeah, it's a little painful for me because um, t when you take a look at the budgets and you're like, oh, they have a, a few thousand dollars uh, to play with here. And you see they spent that on driving out to a desert, shooting a talkie scene. And then that was it. You're like, wow, that is such a waste of money. <laughs> well, and then it's like the special effects, like when they come there, if, like the few times they yeah. use special effects. I'm like, if that was part of the budget, I kind of wish there wasn't that part and had more of the character going on, story stuff, something. The Yeah. I don't know. So this needs needs a little work, but we're, we're going to check out episode two. I am one who believes that sometimes it can improve as it goes. Maybe they look Maybe. at it themselves, figure out some of the flaws. Like, like you know, with my own short film series, uh, I, I, you know, filming all of them is part of a process where I can learn how to do it better the next time. We're just talking before this pretty much yeah. uh, with it. It's like, okay, different things I didn't think of before can be brought to my attention later, and then boom, starting to grow. Uh, episode two was released a year ago. It has about 169,000 views on there. Nice. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, get ready to go. Here's one's almost a half an hour long, so that's cool. a common thing, too. First episodes are usually around, like, you know, five to 15 minutes or so. Second episodes are, like, 20 to 40, <laughs> it seems to be, with a lot of these, so that's okay. good, though. That means they got, <laughs> I assume that means they got more backing, got a lot of views on it, a lot of Maybe they've got a story going. That'll be great. <laughs> Let, let's fingers crossed. Let's fingers crossed. Spiral hmm. Reaver. That's good. Give up. Okay. Okay. My commentary. I have to say. So, I've watched a different variety of fan films and stuff. Different interpretations of like you know how you how you do Power Rangers a little bit. Uh, I think even like JDF has said you know that it should be a little more on the family friendly side. I'm okay with you going a little little more dark but this is like going kind of cringy edgy i don't know yeah. i don't know if that counts mm. anymore edgy i don't think that fits it but it's like damn you uh, you little it, it, well it's yeah, melodramatic like i don't know it's like a horrible stage play acting yes well i mean they're acting for the stage they're way too big for camera and on top of that i do not believe the voice coming out of that guy on his knees is his voice that sounds like a dubbed voice it doesn't sound like it it's authentic to that person's vocal cords. I don't know. It just looks like it's trying to be really cool and tough before anything <laughs> else already. And I'm like, okay, I don't know. It's... And they're in that old parking lot too. You can tell from the uh, the way that the uh, pavement is uh, etched. <laughs> right. <laughs> I thought that was spit coming out of his mouth right here. That's just the background. Never mind. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> just where I paused it. it was... Oh, that is spit. Okay, now it it's is. It's over. Never. I will kill you, Red Ranger. That's Psycho Ranger. Yeah. Good. That's the kind of strength that I want on my team. What the hell are you talking about? Back. Impossible. What is this nonsense? W would the Psycho Rangers want their teammates back? Uh, I don't think they care. Uh, from what I remember, they were easy to, you know, if you were in their way, when they wanted to fight, uh, they'd kill each other. Yeah. Kind of. With the Yellow Ranger, and they, they kidnapped her. And like, what? Well, I thought we get the pink one. No, nah, fuck you. I'm getting this one. And then they like fight each other, like <laughs> just instantly. <laughs> or it's like, you know, oh, that's the Red Ranger. Get out of my way. <laughs> they were not you know? unified. They were very much self-serving, independent. Uh, the only uh, thing they're united in was that they wanted to destroy the Rangers. <laughs> and, and it was mostly that because they had they were under control of Astronema that they were kind of forced to be around each other. Really. Yeah. Otherwise, they'd all just solo act. I like the concept, like, see, okay, I look at it as the idea of how could you get the Psycho Ranger to be on your team, like, that makes sense. I like that idea. Wouldn't it be, a, let's destroy yeah. the current era Power Rangers? Yes. Okay, well, the two of us aren't going to be able to do that, so <laughs> how about I restore your team? Well, okay. <laughs> yeah, something, like, something like that. Like, yeah, how, how often has you, have you Give succeeded me a goal. before? You haven't succeeded? Oh, hmm, yeah. let's see how, when you're at your best with your team. Okay, let's do that. And it's like, yeah. I'm okay with the <sighs> over enthusiastic laughter. This be interesting. 
united under a single government called the Galactica Coalition. Okay, okay. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like that type of... Okay, this is this could just be a pet peeve. I'm, it, I don't know. You, you tell me, script. Like, the narration bits, I, I feel like... I don't know. It's like the CT something war. Okay? Um, some, you know, this is how the galactic thing is now. I don't like that already. Just It seems like there's... They're trying to create a backstory, sort of, for the world. I feel like you could do this in more interesting ways. Like, you know, I guess the I guess like the OG Power Rangers was kind of blunt about it, but it was like more characters telling other characters how it is because they don't know. Like, yeah, well, on. that's one of the things Power yeah. Rangers. They didn't do a whole lot of show. They did a lot of tell. Yeah. Um, the thing is, are they going to actually bring up? this institution that they're narrating about here like or, or are they just saying it because they're saying it uh, yeah we, we shall say i don't know we got a whole another 25 minutes left here so we'll see the idea of using the grid for military and commercial use was made with their power source it was not. used it was used for commercial use I, I, I don't know how or why they would use it for commercial use i understand the military aspect and i are they trying to imply I mean, that this new coalition, this big government, is now abusing the grid power, and that's why Andros is fighting against them? In some I, versions I, I of actually, them, they're I an like, arm of the military. Uh, yes, but I mean, the whole military doesn't consist of it. Uh, I'm, no, I'm actually okay. Be... Like, Lightspeed Rescue, like SPD, like, I like that there's other factions that help the Time Rangers Force, that do yep. stuff, <laughs> but they're, that not everybody is a Ranger. I actually like that kind of element to it. It kind of yeah. it limits the power a bit and gives other characters, you know, room, something to do as well that aren't just all Power Rangers. No, but I guess, you know, I am commenting early as fuck, so I don't know. We'll probably, <laughs> it might be answered in the episode. Uh, I'm sorry, but that's what we do when we when we play and pause and comment. So that's we discover it as we go. Andros and his team of Red Raiders fight to protect the grid and restore the balance to the universe. So the other Power Rangers are extinct? They're, going, they're all on the red, verge I guess. They're all red. Being Rangers. extinct, but all the red ones are okay. Or, mo or some of them. It's one of those things where I, I guess I just would have rather seen something that represents that kind of thing, even a, even a little bit, to like then spark that type of narration that goes into it, you know? Yeah. I guess, because otherwise it's I still it's don't like, understand the dynamic. The Coalition is onto us. I thought you said there weren't any hostiles. Well, and they showed in the last one, there was two other Rangers that weren't Red Rangers or something, or one was, I think. Uh, attacked him, well, remember? The well, once, yeah, I guess he's only taking the Red Rangers for his side, and then the other side is the other color members of the spectrum, so to speak. I guess so. TK, wait! Red Lightning Turbo Power! <laughs> <laughs> wait, and didn't he's the work? Flash. Uh, he stuck the thing in there, and... It ran. I guess that's their version of morphing now. I don't know. I don't know. He doesn't look like he's gonna... nope. He's not a. No, he didn't morph. He just... he just went faster. <laughs> okay. See, so, so like, if... costume for it. <laughs> this, this, this is one of the things where, like, I, I like uh, concepts would be okay. Like, it seems like they're trying to conserve energy from the grid. So it's like if you found a way to utilize some of it without fully morphing, I guess it's something you could do. But it's like. Now, are they using what we know as Power Rangers, Power Ranger fans as part of this too? Because I feel like knowing about Power Rangers makes this worse a little. Probably, yeah. As we're watching, so I don't know. They cry about, oh, they were SPD. Oh. What, what do you think problem. of the uh, Crybot designs here? I think the costumes oh, look okay. They're, they're, not right. the same, they're not the same as in the show, but would have been nice right. if they uh, gave the actors jock straps. Uh... Don't need to see all that detail there. <laughs> He's got some poking him That's not for as safety much. Too. He's poking like... a little. That's a good point. Yeah, it should be a cup there or something. To yeah. Do the grip Rooney, but that's funny. <laughs> you guys are very talkative today. The crybots never talk. Maybe I should talk to your really. motherboards instead. All right. Shields are nice tech improvement touch. <laughs> Uh, 
uh, that's one thing I find a little annoying. So the first one showed that it's more capable than than they should be, but then he's able to sort of knock them around right away yes. after without any change. Well, why is that able that, to happen now? Again, you can really tell how little budget they have because there's only four stunt guys in a suit. They're using digital effects to make it look like there's eight, but you're never going to see them fight more than maybe oh, two right, or three more, people at more a time. Than, yeah, three probably tops at a time on screen on the same frame. And yeah. Stuff. Well, all it takes is one of them to get knocked down. They move the camera a bit, and then that one to get back they up. They roll and away and screen then from a different one... cam from a different camera or something, different angle. Different angle. Oh yeah, it's it's blatantly obvious, <laughs> yeah, right? Which you know, I, I understand the limitations. That's that's not the problem, but the way it's being presented is they're not even trying. Odd. Yeah, <laughs> it's like yeah, with what they just showed too. I'm like, okay, so these guys can fight a lot better than he's expecting, but now he's just fighting them all like it was. Like why did you even one. have that? Why was the what was the point of even showing that happen? Uh, yeah, I thought the one on one fight was going to be a struggle, but you, then you definitely can't. I don't know. That's just that's what they showed, right? <laughs> like, yes, they inverted it. It was so much harder to beat one of them. But four, that's but easy. Now, now they're all attacking me. This is easy. Like yes. I, I don't, I don't like that necessarily. I know that sometimes they do that in shows and stuff, but I'd criticize it then too. So mm -hmm. that's just all around. <laughs> Yeah, you know, if they did, if they didn't show him struggling to fight the one, this wouldn't feel as bad to me, like mm -hmm. as bad, because like I'd be like, okay, it's a normal type of henchman fight, sure, but because they showed the first one be like a challenge, and now it's I don't know, I, the stakes are gone. I'm just like, oh well, I don't know. I guess he can fight them all now. Well, it usually starts with the bad guy wants something, and they send down a monster to go get it. And then the Power right. Rangers have to stop them. And well, then that the was always the thing. Yeah, Power Rangers were always reactionary. That's true. Yes. And even in sometimes it's not even that they're reacting on purpose. It's they happen to be in the same location and then they end up having to fight. Like, oh, we weren't expecting you. You wouldn't know we were even here. And then we have to fight now or something. Yeah. Uh, but this is the opposite where the these Red Rangers are attacking, which I think that's fine, especially doing a fan film to try. But it's it's like failing at a lot of story stuff and how they're doing it it's like I, we're over we're almost 10 minutes in and it's like i have no idea what this is for what why why are we watching him fight these guys for so long i want to i want i want something to chew on while i'm watching this and i have nothing to chew on i want some steak. Kinda, i'm I just like know. i don't know what yeah i don't know what uh what's on what, what are we here for like what what even... happens if he gets defeated or captured yep. and uh what why does it matter that he blew up that power plant is like his father TJ being held captive uh, around here, and he's trying to save him. And he, uh, you know, had to bl something. I don't know. Just, I'm trying to think of something to, get, to care a little. Okay. That was easy. So this is you handling it, huh? Kill them all. So it's like he just like teleported in from the sky. Like was he yes. from a ship? Well, he, he's from got a ship? that eye thing, like um, the 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 henchman of uh, Astronema who had that digital green grid stuff yeah, in one half. Like he's got the red of. version of that over his eye. So he's got, there's some sort of tech there. And didn't Astronema get a little merged with that? Absolutely. A, li a little. Well, it, it was Darkonda like did something to a Clipdor and her to put them more under. Like to be more evil, I guess it wasn't even yeah. under control. It's just to be more evil, uh, and then I'm assuming because this is taking different ranger stuff. This is from RPM. It was like a it was a AI intelligence thing that was created and mm -hmm. like destroyed most of the world or something. I'm assuming this is kind of that kind of thing, but I don't know. That's just my guess, but it could be more what you're talking about, like mm -hmm. like that's trying to do that. But I don't know. But my point was that like if he just teleported in here. Like, does he not have, like, a spaceship to take them out? They're on a different planet. Do they not have ships to escape in, or... I don't know. What are they... Got. What's the point of fighting these guys anyway? If these are just henchmen robots. Like, why, mm -hmm. why are we here so long to beat these guys? There's nothing at risk here, at danger. You're just trying to get away, right? That's the Apparently, whole yeah. You're looking for something at the facility. It wasn't there or something. Or you blew it up, and then they attacked you. Right? Like, I don't... It's like you're trying to get away. So why are you still here? And yep. Talk. <sighs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't even know what's at stake. What, what, what is any? What is the? What is at stake? Even with the narration at the beginning, what's the problem? Something with the grid. <laughs> I'm just like, uh, is there a planet in danger? Is there a person in danger? Is Are there, there innocent lives in danger? They, they don't, I don't they see said, any people. 
they said they're, they're trying to prevent turns. evil, but it's like, so does that mean you're at a civil war with yourselves on how to use the grid or something? Like, I I have no well, fucking clue. The other part, too, is that they're conflating what the grid is. The grid is just the, the, the means of the power being channeled from one source to the rangers. That is the grid. It's it's not a power generator itself. It's it's a part of that. There is the source of the power, and then it goes through the grid to be distributed to the Mighty Morph and the SPD, the light the light speed rescue. All of those guys they yeah. share the stuff from the grid. It's not may the grid protect you. It's may the power protect you. That is the thing yeah. with Power Rangers. <laughs> I don't know. I don't get what they're doing here. Oh, so <laughs> Shift into space. Let's rock it. What? Shift into space. <laughs> okay. Now he's gonna morph. What? Oh my God! He's he's uh, a hybrid with between that? a space ranger and a and a turbo turbo yeah. ranger. It's I think they just kind of like a like turbo ranger helmet, right? I, I guess. Yeah, it's turbo ranger helmet with the space body. Okay. Yeah, there's there's definitely a hybrid aspect to the. That is a yeah. cheap looking helmet. Uh, <laughs> it's a space turbo ranger. <laughs> I mean, I guess I've seen worse helmet and neck combos on costumes, so. I'm not even talking about the All right, for fan film, helmet I guess. It's a pure round thing. It's, there's no real, it's all stuff. It's just a solid round. It's more, com more compact. Yeah, I wish you opened with that. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so what difference did that make morphing when your swords still destroyed them they, they essentially morphed to de-escalate after the fight had already been escalated they like the whole rule is that never uh morph unless you have to unless the fight is escalated it so looked like they to. just needed to sweep up and knock three more four more down and that was it yeah like, which they, they already just about done like they just knocked down like what nine variations of the same four people <laughs> it's like it's like they left. defeat the monster without morphing and then there's like putties left and like all right let's morph and beat the put it's like no yeah. no that's the opposite way that yes that's, that. that's overkill yeah and I mean, he they showed him use like super speed. I just did the fat speedster short film, okay? You know, like he just used super speed before without morphine and yeah. used the weapons without morphine. Can you not use them at the same time? That's the only difference with how without he just morphine, killed them. Like, yeah, morphine yeah. meant nothing to this, it, it really does. I mean, that's why it's kind of we're critical on this because it's like it's kind of important. Like, just morphine isn't interesting, like, you got to have something more to it right like a little like just morphing has to be a neat need of to save the the ranger so that they can also balance the scales yeah it's like the enemy's too strong we obviously can't do it ourselves we have to use the power to morph and even balance it out that's usually how that works that's we need to talk about these See, like, I wish that even this that's a that those are items you can have like be something that is desirable and people are trying to get their hands on or something and that being something you're trying to get and like that can be whatever like you know that their power doesn't use the grid or something and you, mm -hmm. so i'm trying to think here you know like i'm brainstorming how i could try to turn this into something more interesting you know go to you can go to an old western type of little town that has the aliens like in uh in in space and galaxy they had the little uh fucking place where they all meet up or something like where, where villains go to or yeah, the, like, the, there's like a western town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. That could be kind of a cool setting, and you can show off whatever things you have uh, available. And you know, you don't have to all be morphed either with it. You, can... you know, it's weird. I have the strangest feeling like I know that red fusion ranger from somewhere. So why are they talking now when they like were just like stone cold in the last one? I thought they were like implied to be just like non normal humans or something. No, no idea. Like, it was just in the neighborhood that I'd stop by and see my two favorite time travelers. So where's your partner? She had a couple errands to run. Well, that's inconvenient. I'm sorry. Who are you? Sam on in. I'm trying yeah. to see script. Like, I just do this now. It's like, I'm trying to read, I'm trying to picture the script with the that dialogue written down. I'm just like, okay, <laughs> we need to reword this. Like, why is that the response now? And well, it's the ban banter with friends. No, it's, no, that's the draft banter. Then later you're gonna put something more clever in there, right? Like well, that's your that's your your startup, and then you fix it. 
ne- never start a scene with someone saying I was just in the neighborhood and then be like, but I've got this important thing to tell you. It's like, no, no, get to the point because there's always a priority and urgency. And if you want to make a quip about someone in the come being in the neighborhood, that usually comes in in the situation where it's like, oh, they're tipping the scales in the favor of the hero. Where'd you come from? Oh, I was just in the neighborhood. Like that, it's that's how you kind of use that that terminology here. The other thing that's throwing me off is that the the ranger that we just saw training against cubes is wearing an SPD badge, <laughs> but Zane calls him a time traveler. Isn't that Time Force, a completely different department? Well, no, because there's one in SPD. The Omega Ranger was from the future. And he's the Omega Ranger. <laughs> I don't know because he has the shadow saber that uh the doggy had, the Kruger had. I'm lost. Their mentor. <laughs> so I'm confused on that. And then, okay, God, I'm sorry. Okay, my critique brain is just going crazy. So they're showing a Crybot back here as if it's one of their soldiers. Mm-hmm. Is this important information that these aren't bad guys? That it's like, oh, this is like, is this like a reveal that it's like the good guys have bad guy things on their team after we just saw them fight our protagonists like yeah i think it's just so trying casually to, there is yeah, this important i, I think they're t- trying to imply that with great power comes great corruption and that zane and whatever he's doing is now turned into the bad guy but it's not presented like that either though, no really. it is not so i'm just like oh it's just that's their foot soldiers like whatever it's like but they just were fighting them it's like it's like they don't realize that they could utilize a simple just focus on one as you know what i mean like you know what i mean right <laughs> uh, this, well the thing is that there's a very uh, severe lack of clarity with regards to what who are we following and why are we following them yeah and we have another new character to introduce and that should be fun this vincent reyes first lieutenant of my silver legion division oh lieutenant reyes i've read about you your career at flight speed is really impressive you were recruited by chad lee top of your class this is so unnecessary. I feel like the amount of substance in this episode would amount to a minute tops. I don't know. Like not even. Cuz here's that, the other part I'm too. Giving it, I'm giving it more than it should. Audiences uh, by and large, they don't care about backstory until after they start to learn who the character is. And right here we've got, oh, we have no nothing about these characters. So let's talk about their backstory. The audience is not invested. You haven't earned that right yeah. yet. Like Show I want to be these characters are and then through their actions, fill in some of the gaps to to better uh, hook the audience into liking or hating these characters. Like, I feel like they're doing it from the approach of, you guys know Power Rangers, right? So we're just going to start and not do the work, but we're going to also talk our backstories. And yes, that confuses me because I'm like, you should it should be showing characters even more easily because they know we're familiar with Power Rangers, right? And then, but it's like, they're just really not doing that well. And I'm kind of an aneurysm, man. <laughs> I'm trying to learn about writing, Dude, you know, this is, and this, this is killing it, me. Well, this is a great example of why fan films are not always good. And, and why I appreciate the effort. And if you're out there and you want to make a fan film, learn from these fan film mistakes, because again, Anyone starting out, whether you're amateur or independent, you're kind of making a fan film of sorts, but ideally you want to be making one that's not of an existing intellectual property. And you don't want to repeat the mistakes that are being made here. You don't want to tell audiences things that they don't care about and don't, and, and because you think they need to know it. It's like, no, audiences need to know very, very little. They just need to figure out who is the character, what do they want, why do they want it. And then when it comes to their antagonists, who are they? What what do they want? Why do they want it? And the conflict comes from those interactions. Yeah. Like I'm trying to th- even think of like Star Wars episode four, you know, New Hope. It's like oh, yeah. we don't we don't really get back around information on most things. Yeah. Most we don't know anything about Princess Leia. We don't but know you about get, you but you know that level they're, of training yeah. in Alderaan or that she was like top of her class in blaster marksmanship. No idea. Don't care. Don't know. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm so bored. I have nothing to chew on. I'm just and I wish I had more to praise, but he's stated a goal and an up and it's like, okay, that's an interesting goal. Why aren't we, why are we why following are you fighting the... the block guys in the yeah, meantime? Why, 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 why are you with these on? people? Like, you know, give us some more details. Um, Cause you actually gave us a premise now uh, yeah. one episode and 17 minutes into your, to your show, to your series, uh, like over half an hour and almost, you know, <laughs> pretty much total. Feel it. Don't you? 
day. You you bite. called it on the ecliptor thing though, the yeah. eyeball. That's it's definitely the red that. one. Yeah, <laughs> I was going for something else. Yeah. Day, you become more like me. Yeah, it's ecliptor's voice. Stop this foolish crusade and embrace your destiny. So it's like, couldn't the sister have been like a catalyst that kicks off the events of the story or something to have Would us be nice. follow? What oh, happened to Pickles? He was missing for three days. And how's that my fault? You left your teleport remote next to the sandwich and you knew his food anxiety. So, I mean, after all the exposition dumps and all the, like, trying to be edgy and shit. I, I like, really don't care about the Now the there's dog. a comedic weird scene that is attempting to be comedic, but it's not funny. And it, I feel like no, this, I, I don't know, man. It's just, uh, like, I'm so, I'm so lulled at this point. And then they're trying to do comedy. It's more cringe than anything. I don't know what to yeah. take out of this. I thought she was a robot. I didn't call you back. Because <laughs> you have to notice I'm a chisel upon the run trying to restore the greater good. Second of all, I can't help that your dog eats everything. Ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That's our reaction. What do you know about these? Yeah. It's almost over, script. We're <laughs> almost there. We're almost there. Did you miss me, Andrews? <laughs> what the fuck are you? All right, whatever. I don't know who that is. Yep. I'm coming for you, Red Raiders. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> He's, uh, uh, I think it's very charitable for them to say that they wrote this. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. There's not much writing really going involved. It's like, and then this scene happens. And then we bring in his ex-girlfriend. And then we and talk about their, their dog Pickles. And then they get attacked. There, there's no cause oh. and effect here. No, it's literally the and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. Nothing happens because something else happened at all. Yeah. It's driving me crazy. I am an amateur at writing, but like, I feel like I can get <laughs> that kind of thing. My God. All right. The description here. Sometimes this can help us understand what happens here. All right. Let's see. He says, uh, the highly anticipated second episode is finally here. Hmm. Uh, attack Andros, uh, played by the guy and the red Raiders, uh, continue their assault on the high governing Galactica coalition. Fuck me, that's a long ass title. And uh, its leaders, the Premier, okay, mm -hmm. in hopes of saving the Morphin Grid from dying. Oh, it's dying. Is that what it's doing? Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the Coalition, on the other hand, have already set in motion a new project which will tip the scale in their favor. The Red Raiders will need help if they stand a chance against the new threat. Glory to the Red Raiders. That didn't tell us anything, really, other than that the morphing grid is dying. This was a long time coming, and I feel it was worth the wait. Oh, that's one of the people on the crew. Uh, this was incredible, amazing episode. Uh, it's from Crimson Studios. They also make Power Rangers Yeah, stuff, these are all people that are working on the project. I say, yeah, but they have seen Crimson Studios uh, things before. Uh, amazing, guys. So happy to see there to be in this. Yep, that's with them. Damn, good to see Carlos again. Great humor throughout the episode. The humor where you can't see that uh perfect blend between the classic rangers uh campiness and humor uh, and a more mature grit mature i don't know about that uh really solid fight choreo and editing in the fight scenes oh my gosh I don't think they've seen. Listen films. again. Uh, the, you're going to have a very diverse fan group that's going to be impressed by by this, and there's nothing wrong with that. Yep, that's um, totally they just, fine. Hopefully, hopefully, it starts them on a journey where they begin to watch a more ver larger variety of of content mm -hmm. and uh, refine and develop their their tastes as they as they find more. I think that's that's good. Yeah, I, I'm hoping so. That's fine. Any, anybody can like this. That's cool. We're not dogging you for it. And again, I give I give credit that these guys made a fan film. That is an achievement in and of itself. C congrats. But 
but still, I you know I, I've I've watched like over a hundred fan films now, uh, reacted to them and stuff. I I do critiquing on all of them pretty much too, uh, and I try to be fair as I can. The I'm tr- so positives script. What, what we did mostly nagging on it. <laughs> what um, are what are positives we can pull out of this? Because the Crybot I, costumes are pretty good. Yeah. I like those. I thought the Psycho one, even though it was top heavy, I thought looked okay regardless. If they had better <laughs> camera angles for it, I think could have like helped it, you know, not stand out that kind of way. Um, the 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 spaceship effects uh, in the in the space fighting towards the end that looked all right. That was passable. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's. Uh... I mean, the look of some of the actors look like they're fine, but the acting of them. They're, well, they're not actors. There's. That. I mean, that's the thing. It's in, very in Power, obvious they're not actors. It's like even though in Power Rangers that's corny and campy, I feel like they were better at acting though. Most of them, a good portion. I would have preferred them to chew the scenery because at least it'd give us something. Yeah, and I feel like we were given an equivalent of nothing, kind of with this. It's uh, whenever they're talking, it's just so lame, and then when they're fighting, it's just like. It felt like a waste of time, and then he morphed at the end, and it's just like, oh, that's, that. Uh, the music wasn't even that great. Uh, I hardly noticed it, other than just going, "Oh, look, there's. I guess there's some music now." Yeah, I mean, I'll, I will say this: this is definitely a very expensive learning experience for the people that worked on it, and a very cheap learning experience for those that are watching it. <laughs> yes, quite um, a bit. Yeah. Uh, again, this is. This is why, I mean, YouTube has been around since around 2007 and the number of people that have been able to elevate themselves out of YouTube to actually making um, professional studio backed films or professional independent films that are able to be distributed uh, without the assistance of YouTube is almost negligible with the amount of output that's been made. And, And there's a reason for this. Like when you go on YouTube and you search fan films for things and you see tens of thousands of them, just multiply that uh, by a few hundred, and that's what people like me have to read uh, and and and, mm, and analyze and determine whether we hand it off to our bosses, like our producers or what have you, um, or 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 just say or do a rejection and pass on it because there's a lot more people that think they can write and do stuff that actually can't, but. I always applaud them for trying because you're you're stepping into a very difficult world to navigate, and the effort is um, much appreciated. I love I love the fact that someone's like, you know, what? I'm inspired to write a story. Let's go write it. That yeah. that's step one. Step two is then figuring out how do you make it, um, how do you make it at a level that other people besides your yourself and your friends and family will want to enjoy it, and then from there it's like, okay, now how do you make it to the point where it looks like it could generate money. And then from there, it's like, okay, now how do I make it to the point where someone with millions of dollars is willing to put those millions of dollars behind it? And it, you go on a tier basis, and it takes many, many years to perfect. Yeah. I and, agree. And the, a lot of the people that have worked on this thing uh, have been working uh, to varying degrees in film and television since the 90s and clearly were not paying attention. <laughs> like, that's no. the only I can really respond to this is that they. They were not paying attention. They don't know. They were just there to hit their marks, say their line, do their stunts, and that's all they took out of it, And which is unfortunate. Because yeah, you I mean, can take someone like, for instance, Amy Jo Johnston, Pink Ranger, yeah. who yeah. did act in other things, who's also written and directed stuff that has gotten some pretty decent um, accolades and, and reviews. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, she, she paid attention. She cared about what she was doing. And then you've got this on the other side. yes well and it's like i'm trying to think of so it's like it's a power ranger fan film so a lot of people would say well power rangers is goofy anyway right so this is Mm -hmm. perfect or something sure there's there's a difference though right it's a big difference one is intentionally goofy this one is accidentally goofy (laughs) well it's like even even some of the plot stuff like it's not confusing are you ever like confused really an episode of power rangers like of what's going on it's pretty clear to follow for the most part uh, you know, the characters can be likable, unlikable, whatever. They can do something. Like, you can follow them, and you can get somewhat invested-ish. 
this mm-hmm. was like I'm just waiting for something to happen, please. And when things happen, it's it's like, oh, I guess that happened, but it's not really helping anything. My cat's trying to knock my phone off my table. <laughs> Little bitch. <laughs> uh, I don't know. So I don't I don't know what I'd say to end this. I feel I feel mean like shitting on this, but it's like this is how I treat a movie. Like if I were to critique it. So yeah, that, no, that's... you're you're not wrong to be disappointed by this. And if you were out there watching this and thought it was good, you're not wrong for liking it. Uh, I mean, again, uh, you know, audiences know what they like, and there's stuff that they'll know that, that what they'll come back to. Uh, there's not an episode three yet. Probably got another year <laughs> or so. Out. Probably another year <laughs> or so out from there. I still want us to finish the series when it comes out. Script because it's interesting. You know, with more, t- with more time with more time. I would like to think that they improve. Like, I want to think th- they have other projects. I've reacted to one of their videos before. It was like one of the Rangers versus like a Ninja Turtle or something. And they have, uh, what do they have? They have like, they have another series like Rise of the Ninja or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Ri- Red- Rise of the Ninja. Yeah. E- episodes. Oh, shit. Nah, I clicked on the wrong thing. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they have other series as well. And they do other like superhero ones too. Those might be better ish, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always willing to give them a shot, but uh, I have a very low bar, which makes it easier for me to be well, uh, you know, gratefully yeah. surprised. True. But, yeah. True. Ugh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure I have much more to say on it, but uh, good good luck to the future, you guys, Nerdbot. Uh, your link is still in the description and stuff. I still shout you guys out for it, even if we shout on happen. you. You know. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Sorry, I did not didn't enjoy it. It's not the end of the world. It's all good. Uh, hopefully, you guys, you know, ha- yeah, hopefully you guys are having fun. That's that's good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll we'll uh, see you guys later. <laughs>